Hello everyone, Black Ice here and welcome back to Pokemon Sun. Last time we left off, we had problems navigating, or at least I did, because I didn't know how to use the map. Today I know how to use the map and it's kind of dumb. Also, I'm apparently riding Stoutland still, so um, let's get off of Stoutland here. So to open the map, you have to tap to the left, just a little bit on the left of the screen where it shows the thing, and yeah. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but oh, whatever. Um, Alright, so let's go zoom in here. So, oh, okay, so we need to go up this path by Royal Unfair Battle Land. Alright, we can do that. Shouldn't be too bad. And when I went to look up how to open the map in this game, I had to, well, first of all, get a video tutorial, which was a little bit ridiculous, but also, I mean... A lot of people apparently had this problem. Like, why should that be a problem opening the map? So, really, I hope that's one of the changes they make in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, is fixing the map so that, like, you know, it's not a piece of garbage to use. But, admittedly, now that I know how to do it, it's, you know, pretty, pretty simple. It's just unfortunate that I had to actually look up the controls of a Pokemon game for once. That may actually be the first time in my entire life I've looked up the controls to any Pokemon game ever. Which is crazy. Anyway, so apparently we go this way. Ooh, Route 7. Looking pretty nice. What does this old man have to say? You're missing out if you don't ever see Captain Kiwi's dancing. Now go on up to the volcano. Alright, and I guess we're blocked off from there. Yeah, alright, makes sense. Oh, but wait a minute. We can go on the beach. We sure can, and we can take Lapras out there. Are you a trainer? Maybe if you catch some rare Pokemon from those rock piles that spout bubbles sometimes? Oh, okay. Uh, I guess that sounds like a good idea. Alright, yeah, let's uh, let's take Lapras out in the open ocean. Maybe we can find a nice water-type Pokemon. Do I even have a water-type on my team? I don't think I do. Yeah, water-type is something I could use, I guess. Maybe. Either that or I just don't remember my team at all, which is also very possible. I did see a swimmer out here swimming. Oh, wait a minute, though. There's a uh, there's some land over there. Oh, and looking at the mini map on the bottom screen, I can now see that there's quite a bit to this ocean area. So we'll have to go find that swimmer later. For now, we have an encounter with a Finneon. Okay, well, not gonna be catching Finneon, gotta be honest. And you know, Rock type's not the best matchup, so I'm just gonna run. Just get out of here, stupid Finneon. Waste of my time. Anyway, something interesting that's happened in Pokemon news is Pokemon Go Fest was announced and also tickets went on sale. They're all sold out, so if you wanted them, sorry. You're gonna have to go on eBay and buy them for a hundred freaking dollars. Don't do that, by the way. That means the scalpers win. But anyway, Pokemon Go Fest is going on and it's gonna be in Chicago. And since that's basically right in my backyard, hello. Um, I will be going there as well, so if you're going to Pokemon Go Fest, you know, maybe I'll see you there. I'll probably be wearing a Team Valor shirt of some sort. Anyway, we got a Diglett. Diglett's pretty neat, but, um, also a bad matchup for Rockruff, and not a Water type, so goodbye, Diglett. Oh, I, never mind, I just can't get away. Oh, right, I forgot. Diglett's actually fast somehow. Ooh, oh man, oh, I'm sorry, Rockruff. Alright, you know what? We will switch out. I'm going to switch into Trumbeak because not only am I not affected by his ground type um, antics, but I also have a fighting type attack, and since Alolan Diglett is part steel, it'll hurt him pretty bad. Isn't that right, Trumbeak? Brick Break. Or, you know, I'll use Growl to cut my attack. How is he that fast? He's a speed demon, I tell you. Oh, well, it didn't matter. <laughs> the Growl did nothing. Oh, we got a crit. Alright, nice job, Trumbeak, and Rockruff is, like, very grateful for you standing up for him. Alright, Rockruff, don't worry. We'll get y'all cleaned off. Got all dirty, because that stupid Diglett, he caused, like, some kind of a earthquake thing and caused, like, rocks and dust to fall all over you. Yeah, what a jerk. He's a mean, mean Diglett, but don't worry. You're, you're all better now and cleaned off, and... Here, have one of these weird purple beans. You like purple, right? Yeah, you like purple a lot. All right, let's... Oh, no, no, no. You don't get more. No. You're like, my dog's at home. <laughs> give him one treat, and they're like, is that it? Come on now. Give me, give me some more treats. 
Alrighty. Anyway. Oh, well, they're coming out of these uh, holes in the wall. Ooh, what's up here? I can hear a lot of ocean sounds. Oh, can I totally fish from here? No, I should be able to, though. See that rock thing? Oh, we got a max repel. That rock thing in the water, we could fish in, obviously, but... We just can't cast from here, because apparently our fishing pole goes, like, one meter. That's great for fishing. Oh, a swimmer who looks like she's just kind of floating in the water. Oh, come on. I wonder where I can go spend time alone with my Pokemon. Oh, if you wanted to be left alone, why are you battling me? I could have just left you alone. But all right, if you say so. Swimmer Tiari. Alamomole. All right, well, Rockruff's not a good matchup, so we'll be switching to Pichu. Or Pikachu, I should say. Peach. <sighs> Dang it. I don't even know my own team anymore. I do have to heal up Rockruff, though. I forgot to after the Diglett fight. Double slap, huh? Alright, well, prepare to get staticked because you're making contact with Pikachu multiple times. Yeah, that's right. Get staticked. Is double slap the one that can hit five times? Because I know, like, some of the moves that are called double whatever only hit two times, but for whatever reason, one of them can hit two to five times, which I never understood exactly why. I mean, there's no consistency in this Pokemon universe. Aqua Ring? Not that bad. Especially since we got our special attack raised. Risen? Raised, right? Probably. From Charge Beam. Alright, and the game's gonna take a little while to process that. And if we get one more... Oh, oh but it was paralyzed anyway. Fully paralyzed at that. Your Aqua Ring won't do anything for you here. Your Aqua Ring won't help you now. Alright, Charge Beam should finish it off. And to be fair, this is a Pokemon with at least high health. I don't know what its uh, special defenses are like, but that's why it took three charge beams. It has a lot of health at the very least. You're actually not a bother. Thanks for a little excitement. Oh, well, uh, you're welcome. Uh, too bad you have to go to the Pokemon Center now, though. Also, you might be dead because I used electric type attacks in the water and yeah, we might all be dead, actually. This whole thing could just be a dream of a time... How does that Linkin Park song go? I know the dream part isn't in there, but something, something, rhyme I designed to explain in due time, all I know? I don't remember. It's like In the End or something like that from Linkin Park. Or as we call it now, Linking Park. Yeah, good job, Pikachu. Oh yeah, you're the best. Pikachu, so happy. Alright, you get a, a Pika Bean. Right, come on, there we go. Pika bean for Pikachu. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's go. We spent enough time messing around here. Also, today's episode might be a little short, and I apologize in advance if that ends up being the case. It's just been so hard for me to get through the day so far because I had class last night from 7.30 to 10.20, which may not sound that bad, but that's also after working that day. Oh, here we go. And also, I normally go to bed at, like, before 10 o'clock. Needless to say, I was, uh, I was hurting <laughs> when I got home. I just kind of fell over, went to sleep. And for whatever reason... Oh, I gotta heal up Rockruff. Thanks for reminding me, Wishy-Washy. Should I get a Wishy-Washy? I think that might actually be a kind of a cool idea. I've never used one, so I think that might be cool. Although... Again, it, it just, who, who are we going to replace? I like my whole team, but we need a water type, right? Oh man, I don't know. Alright, anyway, for now, we will Super Potion, Rock Rough, there you go. Enjoy. Alright, we picked up items here. Okay, whatever. Don't care right now. Uh, we'll probably find some other fishing spots around here. In fact, I, I don't doubt that we will. Like right here, let's see if there's a Wishy Washy over here. Uh, but yeah, so... Oh, here we go. I almost missed that fish. But yeah, I was actually driving home from school. I just felt so fatigued that I'm like, yeah... Probably shouldn't be driving. Uh, so... I don't recommend that to anybody. Oh, only level 11. We're out of here. Come on, please. Alright, let's go. Let's move on. 
Anyway, I made it home safe and sound. I just don't recommend it. I was tempted. Oh, wait a minute. There's an item on the bottom there. Let's take that. I was tempted to just call my parents and say, Can you pick me up? I'm way too tired to drive. And that's honestly what I should have done. Oh, hey. Hey. Hello, swimmer dude. Swimming is a full body exercise. It's toned muscle tactics. Uh, that's true, actually. Swimming is, like, very, very good for you. And, you know, it's kind of fun, too. You know, when you're not swimming in... Well, I don't know. I've been in the ocean before. Not a big fan. Ooh. Oh, you look scary. I think you're, like, a really tanky type as well. So, you know what? We do want to switch out. And, let's see. Let's go to Dartrix, actually. Because that way... Oh, wow, the frames. <laughs> Because Dartrix is a grass type, that works against water types too, right? Toxic Spikes. Ooh, okay, so we don't want to switch out anymore. I hope you use another Toxic Spikes just so I can get the the edge on you. Oh, wait a minute. You, you're probably Poison type then, right? You are totally Poison type. Alright, well, a critical hit's pretty good anyway. I guess we just gotta hope for a critical hit. Although... Let's see, what's the difference between Peck and Razor Leaf? Probably a lot, actually. Not really, surprisingly. Peck might be the best. No. No, Razor Leaf is still better. Who am I kidding? I mean, it's normally effective still. And also, I get stabbed from it. Actually, I get stabbed from Peck as well. Grass flying, yeah. Oh, but Peck hurts me real bad because I'm grass type. I forgot about that. Alright, so I shouldn't say Peck anymore because I. I, um gave away my one weakness. Anyway, battle's over, so we're good. And hopefully Rock Ruff will level up. Yeah, there we go, level 19. That's right, buddy, Tone Muscles. Yeah, he, he really likes his muscles. Okay, so... I'm not gonna... Oh, I don't need to go to Bag. I'm not gonna heal up Rock Ruff, but I'm gonna switch uh, Mudbray to the front of the party just to, you know, get that balanced out stuff. Oh, actually, Rockruff's 19. Wow. There we go. Actually, you know what? Let's just send Trumbeak to the front, because at least we don't have to run away from, like, every battle. Because Mudbray is a ground type. Oh, that was weird. The music felt like it skipped or something there, but it, I don't think it did. I think that's just the, the funky beat that's going on here. Oh, well, I didn't actually mean to go on the land, but... Oh, hey! Uh, stretching, I see. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. Who are you? Swimmer Vanessa, I see. Well, prepare to be defeated at the hands of... Oh, jeez. Shelter is not an ice type yet, is it? I don't think it is. I think it's just water type, and it's an ice type when it evolves a cloister. But you know what? I think we try a brick break anyway, just in case. Or you know what? No, let's go echoed voice. Oh, protect. See, that wouldn't, brick break wouldn't have worked anyway. But if we go echoed voice, we can eventually just sweep the whole team. Plus, oh, stop doing that, please. Actually, Echoed Voice might not be the right option because Protect could disrupt the combo. I don't know how that works. Okay, maybe Echoed Voice was stacking up all those times anyway? Because that seemed to do a lot more damage than it should have. Anyway, Supersonic will mess up the combos for sure. Whether or not it uses Protect. Oh, that hurts. Man, that sucks. Icicle Spear. Okay, it has an Ice-type attack. Shelter may indeed be part Ice-type. In which case, Trumbeak, you need to get out of here. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Trumbeak, hang in there. No! You cheating son of a... It hit four times. I bet it's a Skill Link Shelter, too. These things are scary. All right, Mudbray. It's your turn. Kick it in its stupid idiot head. Double kick. It's not Ice-type. It just knows an Ice-type attack. Okay. I guess that's... Whatever, that's weird. I'm not gonna lie, that is just weird. Corsola. Alright, so we are gonna switch Pokemon. Because, I mean... Dartrix is going to destroy this Corsola. Rock Water type, you kidding me? What we think of Corsola? That's not a very good adaptation. Anyway, Razor Leaf should get the job done. One hit, plus we go first because of the Quick Claw. Battle over. Thanks for playing, Vanessa, but you lose. What? Okay, um, I underestimated Corsola's defense power. 
and left myself vulnerable to a crazy powerful ancient power which scares me because I had to use Quick Claw to go first. Oh boy. Alright, well... You know, let's just go for Rockruff, right? Yeah. Alright, Dartrix, you did good, but Rockruff's gonna get the job done- Oh, wait a minute, that's Water-type attacks, what am I thinking? I'm, I'm just thinking, oh look, it's a- And it used one. How? How are you- How do you know that? Okay, well, this course is giving me a lot more problems than I'd like to admit to. I am sending out a bug type against a rock type, which is not advised, but it's using a water type attack because it's an idiot. Actually, that time it was making the smart choice. It wasn't making the smart choice against Star Tricks when it tried to use Bubble Beam. Idiot. Alright, so we'll go for a Draining Kiss, get some of our health back. We might get multiple level ups here in our party, so we'll have to see. And wow, that, did you see how slow that health drained? This course is pretty strong, actually. I made fun of it. Alright, Cutie Fly to 20. No new moves. Dartrix to 19. Oh, new moves! It's just Foresight, though, so we're not gonna do that. Rock Rough to same level. I, I lost, because I won't budge? What? That doesn't, that doesn't even make sense. You lost, but c because you don't but, oh, whatever. Oh, hey, there's a TM over there. Oh, wait a minute, though. Oh, look at that. There's a special, special fishing spot. There we go. We got it. Who's that Pokemon? It's... It's a Magikarp. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not going to catch Magikarp. Although I hear they're very good jumpers. Um... Yeah, let's just bulldoze it into the ground. I mean, it can't hurt us, so... And then plus, we'll go faster next turn, and then finish it off instantly. Very good, Mudbray. Very good. You'll get, like, no experience for it, though, because it's a Magikarp. So, enjoy your petty victory. Yeah, I guess we'll go to the care thing. Wait a minute, you didn't get dirty, did you? That's not possible. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. You got yourself dirty from Bulldoze? I guess that makes sense, though. Alright. I'll let you off the hook this time, because that does make sense. Yeah, Mudbray, so happy. So happy. Even happier than before. And to top it all off, we'll give you a mud bean. That doesn't sound very... <laughs> it sounds like it's another word for poop. Don't worry, we're not feeding you poop. Alright, let's get out of here. I would like that TM, though. Oh, ooh, it's a nice puddle we can walk in. I wonder if there's any water-type Pokemon. Oh, we couldn't get there from this side anyway, because, see, that's a ledge right there, and I don't want to jump down it, because I still want that TM, which is... Thunder Wave. Okay, that is pretty good, but I think Pikachu already has Thunder Wave. And I don't think I want to teach it to anything else in particular. Wait a minute. Also, how did a Magikarp get in here? This place is, like, landlocked. Unless there's just, like, an underwater passageway it can swim through under there, and I just can't see it. Alright, so anyway, we're gonna go this way this time. Down the ledge. Into the water. Because there was another swimmer around here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. And also, I think I want to catch a Wishy-Washy, because that could be fun. Especially if we get, like, Big Wishy-Washy. Which is the official name of that Pokemon. Oh, there you are. You swimming jerk. Pokemon and Trainer join forces to make a team. I mean, he knows how this game works, I'll give him that. Swimmer Dakota. North or South? <laughs> uh, it's a bug water type. That's fine. Bug water. We don't have anything in our arsenal as mud brain that would particularly serve us well, but I mean, we could bulldoze it? I mean, the bulldoze is probably pretty good. Oh, wait. Water sport? That weakens fire type moves. That's not that bad. It's a nice rain sound effect. Although I say that because I have headphones on, maybe... Well, I don't know, maybe there's some headphone listeners that can confirm that. Ooh, pretty nice rain sound effect. Anyway, we're faster now, so we've got the upper hand in this battle. 
But I swear, Mudbray, if you get dirty again, okay? I don't understand this guy's tactics at all. Because, I mean, he, he just lost, so there you go. And I could just switch out to get rid of that evasiveness buff, or debuff, I should say. And Dupiter. Alright, so we're gonna switch. We'll just send out Pikachu. Because do it means water. Because do, right? Like D-E-W, do, the stuff you find on grass in the morning. And you look like a, also a water bug type. Oh, and you're gonna avoid the attack. Oh, right, because I can miss with that. He's got Bubble Beam, though, which, um, oh, that actually did a decent amount of damage. That's kind of scary. All right, so we'll go for the Charge Beam. I don't know if this has a chance to paralyze or not. I don't believe all Electric-type attacks do, which is weird, but also I raise my... Okay, use Spiderweb, because he's dumb. Wait, that might lower my speed, though. No, I just can't escape. All right, all right. You know, your loss, I guess. I mean, it's literally your loss. You could have defeated Pikachu if you just used Bubble Beam, but you are clearly not a smart person. Alright, well, there we go. Swimmer Dakota's an idiot, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. We'd have to dry you off after getting hit with a water... No, no, that was Bubble Beam, not Water Gun. I always wondered if Bubble Beam was like just bubbles of water or it's like soap bubbles. Like, you know, like those soapy bubble type things that you get as a kid. And I mean, is that. I always wondered what Bubble Beam was. If it was the more the soapy kind or just like bubbles of water that somehow exist. Alright, so I believe we've explored everything down there except can we fish from here from the shore? I hope we can. Oh, we can. Alright, wonderful. So, any minute now, we will get a. Uh, any minute now, Wishy Washy will be going to take the bait and we'll reel it in. It says nothing seems to be biting, but they clearly don't have the patience of a fisherman. And, you know, even though it does say that for the fourth time, you just gotta keep at it. See? Told ya. Oh, wait a minute. What? A pearl? No, I don't want a pearl. I mean, that's nice, but I don't want a Wishy Washy. Should have caught one earlier. I mean, I had the chance on that first one, but that was before I decided I wanted to catch one. Alright, come on. Fisherman patience is running low. I know it says nothing seems to be biting, but... I mean, this isn't, like, the best time to go fishing anyway. The sun's high in the sky. Alright, well, we got one. Is it a wishy-washy? No, it's, uh, Magikarp. Magikarp, everybody. It's Magikarp. All right, well, we're going to run away from this battle. And I'll give it one more try. One more encounter, if you will. Not one more fishing try, but one more Pokemon encounter. And if it's not wishy-washy, we're just going to leave. Because I can always catch one later. And I do want to get to Kiwi's Trials idiot place on the volcano for some reason. Yeah, that's real safe, Kiwi. Have your trial in the volcano. Okay, and it's another Magikarp, so, uh, my bad. Uh, Wishy-Washy don't actually exist here. That must have been, um, a Ditto that used Transform and just swam down the stream or something. Uh, are you kidding me? I can't run? It's a Magikarp. I mean, it's in the water and I'm not. How can I not run? If anything, it couldn't catch me. I mean, this is fine, but, like, let me leave. And he's calling for help? What is he possibly going to call? Wait, he could call Wishy-Washy. Or another Magikarp. Alright, well, you idiots asked for it. You're going to get... Oh, well, or... I was going to bulldoze, but apparently I'm stuck on Runaway. And you're using Splash, because that's how smart you are. Alright, so they're just going to both get bulldozed and destroyed. Please leave me alone. Stop doing this to me. Your tyranny ends here. Or not. I mean, I will go first this time, but... It's still strange. Oh, yeah, that doesn't that... Doesn't the power of this get cut because it hits multiple targets? For some stupid reason? Anyway, we got one of them. He's gonna tackle, and he better not call for freaking help. Because there's literally no way they can defeat me. And I know what you're saying, yeah, they could tackle you 50 times and do one damage each time, 
but they don't have 50 PP for tackle, and if they struggle, it's still gonna do one damage, and it, they would kill themselves before they killed me. So, yeah, uh, there was no way they could have won that. Anyway, we'll go to Kiwi's trial now. Are we gonna get sucked into a cutscene? Do we have to talk to that dude? No, we seem to be well of Volcano Park. Oh, wait a minute, there's a cool sign here. Let's read that. Well of Volcano Park. The fire burns bright and hot here. Oh, that's a very comforting uh, sentiment to be greeting your guests with. Anything behind the sign? Doesn't look like it. Anything over here? Nope. Can I pick the flower? Can't do that. I did see an item over here, though. And we get a wild Pokemon encounter. Will we want to catch this Pokemon? Probably not. Well, I said probably not. But, I mean, I love Cubone, but we got a ground type and a rock type, so sorry, buddy. But I'm not going to hurt the Cubone. He's all sad because his mother died or whatever. So we're just going to, like, leave Cubone alone. Because I like Cubone. I've always liked Cubone. Look at this person looking around. What are you looking for? A trainer? Oh my gosh, it's a trial goer. Show me your Pokemon. Let me see the sights. Oh, you're a tourist. Okay. Are they really a tourist? Sightseer Mariah? Okay, you're kind of a tourist. You had your phone out. What kind of phone is that? Is that the new Samsung Galaxy S8 with infinity screen? I mean, seriously, infinity screen? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Anyway, we'll go for the double kit because it's super effective. Oh, I was really hoping you'd use Payday. Although, I guess... Wait, it just used Scratch? For whatever reason, I thought it used... Oh, yeah, no, it just used Fury Swipes. It's just raising my defense every time. You've fallen for my trap card, you fool. That's how that would go if this was Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, four times, thanks. So this double kick probably... Oh, it will get the KO. Okay. All's... Oh, no, it won't. This is kind of weird. Just please use uh, Payday this time. Nope, you're just gonna raise my defense forever until it can't be risen anymore. And this is like literally going to be the case. That's six. Although to be fair, well, okay, well that was a crit. The crits do damage through the defense buffs anyway. And we get level 20 Mudbray. All right. Oh my gosh, I lost to a trial goer. An authentic Alola experience. Let me take a selfie. Jerk millennial. Yeah. I'm a millennial. Who am I kidding? Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, and next time we will continue to do Kiwi's Trial. So that's going to do it for me for today. So thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.